Hello. Hello. I am a Sherry, and today we are causing more property damage and destruction. Joining me is my is Panda as my trusty Gunzerker co-pilot. Buffer. And this is the same. Hello, I am my son, a Russian Vinci tuber, and Shuri has forgotten to share her screen. For the umpteenth time. For the umpteenth time in this channel. You gotta get Frostburn Cannon and rescue his ass! If Roland has been and that voice was a JJ! You're the only one who can stop Jack. Hi, I'm not Roland Jay. I'm tired. I'm tired. Speak. Nice to meet you. He knows the best way to strike <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. I feel that. Your host today is very tired because life is a thing. <laughs> Remember, it happens. So I just want to remind everyone here, take care of yourselves. Give yourself time to breathe. Life is tough enough without everything else going on in the world. But anyway, enough of that PSA. Let's go find this Firehawk person. Whee! Speaking of PSA, uh, the most I remember meaningful seeing... five seconds of a PSA I've ever heard. Speaking of PSA, I remember seeing like a really weird PSA. Like I'm not sure if any of you heard of it, but that PS but that PSA involves like a guy being strapped to a chair. And his mouth wide open, and some voice saying, "It's testing or it's ready." Before some doctor dude comes in with the drill and starts sparking his mouth, and a lot of people do no not know. No idea what you're talking about. Marvelous, exactly. Not, marvelous, not a lot. honey. That doesn't deny the fact that I'm getting my wisdom tooth ripped out at all. It wasn't even. It wasn't even dentist related. People are still trying to figure out what that PSA was actually. Was that what, what kind of PS state actually was? It's like one of life's biggest mysteries. Like, who like, assassinated JFK? Like, what the fuck was that in that commercial was all about? Like, I remember one of the theories about uh, regarding that PS state. Like, it's it, it's an emotional kind of test just to see how many people will react to it. And you know, people have reacted to it very weirdly concerned. It's like a very mixed mixture of emotions. Oh yeah, of course it's a weird mix huh? of emotions. It's like, it's so random. Oh, we have company already. I... I wanna make you watch the first no. commercials. There are some trippy ones that I that I remember seeing a long time ago. Have any of okay, just think. Have any of you guys heard of a thing called Doctor Lamigo? I think I remember that one. For if for those that don't know what Doctor Lamigo is. It's basically just a bootleg Dr. Mario. <laughs> oh my god. I remember. It's a real thing that exists somewhere in, like, I think Mexico. I remember Dr. Amigo. Oh my god, yeah. that's horrible. Well, sure, you gotta remember. This is. So I don't know if it's Mexico or somewhere in South America, but the important thing you to know is that they don't give a fuck about copyright. That's true. There are a lot of people who do. There are a lot of people in certain places who do not give a damn about copyright, and you do find some very amusing things from it. Maybe, maybe South America has that rare version of Harry Potter with guns. Oh my god. Okay. I could imagine a world where basically DMCA doesn't exist. And like you're just Stay walking light. around and you're just driving around in that's like weird. California the and you see like a coffee stand that's being promoted by Naruto. Those should lead you to the fire.
I went to my first day of the semester in college. I was hosting introduction day. The first day of college, when all they do is introduce themselves and basically half the staff has to be killed. I try not to laugh during the part where my professor was talking about green, and then he got to the part where he was like, I, I don't, I don't give, I don't give out F. In the image, in the immature, Babby and me just, just, just try not to laugh. Wait, he gives out, does he give out D's? No. Not. Or the D. Does he give out C? You're great, you see the pens. Okay, so how it works is that the only way you can pass the clan is to get a C for a C. And how to get that C for completion is by it depends on how well you do for the PowerPoint presentation project. That was interesting! That sounds kind of- that sounds part of the norm for college. That's true, you know, that sounds like the past of the course. Oh, that- that doesn't mean that you- that doesn't mean that you don't have to do your homework though, because you do. Yeah, that sounds like a pass complete course. Like one of those courses where it's like you either pass or fail. I know there are certain classes you can take like that. I remember I took a class last semester where the entire your entire grade is determined by the one by the one report that you gotta make. It's like at the beginning of the class, you basically have to choose one topic that you want to make for an essay, and that essay basically determines your passing grade. And this fool, this fool of a person, chose for their paper chose me. So basically, I basically have to make an essay about the importance of me and. And in communication, basically like social media and stuff. I mean, it's not a horrible topic if you think about it. I mean, I know it's a topic that gets thrown around for forever in the day. It is true that things are a form of communication, as weird as that sounds. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Oh, but oh luckily, God. there were oh, there were a okay. lot of there were a lot of research research papers that people made about me and the importance of being used in communication and social impact and such. I mean, it's like seriously. So memes are essentially just common experiences shared through relatable forms. I yeah, mean, and that relation is going to turn into powder. Yeah. Hmm. Go on. Oh no, it's like yeah, memes are really our experiences turned into relatable form. I mean, sure, some of the content of said memes might not exactly be all that kosher sometimes, but memes sort of just follow the society they sp they spawn from. I mean, I'm not gonna pretend I understand every meme that's out there, nor do I want to, but I can respect their role in the society at least. It's like I made an important piece about how basically the reason why why memes are so normal nowadays is that it basically creates like a hive mind of people to understand that meme and just share a bunch of people on social media, and that just keeps growing and growing and growing until it becomes a phenomenon. And so the cycle continues. Endlessly. For all eternity. The entire world is around and around memes. I welcome my new meme overlords. Eventually. 
That's what number also one memes, though. But also memes can be used for some really bad stuff. Which is why you have to practice critical thinking. Uh, not just yeah. critical thinking. I feel like right wing nut jobs love using memes to spread extremely false and very hateful information. That that really needs to be controlled. This is unusual. The Only say that much. The bloodshots for some time, but they have never mounted such Grenade a large mods over here if you want anyone to use. I wonder what's given them such confidence. Keep going, bloodshots. That demonic thing will rue the goddamn day it messed with us. We're going to make the firehawk choke to death on his own face. They came back with checkerboard cookies. Ew. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind awesome. of my feeling towards the whole thing right now. Dude, you. Uh, you're, you're feeling, you're feeling that it's described by checkerboard cookies? No, my feeling is described by what angels, by what angels said about making the firehawk choke on their own feces. You. You. That's a sentence. Well, oh, this game is full of sad sentences. Oh, so I found a little weird little side cave here that I don't know what the frick it does. You will eventually. Oh, wait! I found the loot chest! Uh, it just has a bunch of generic pistols, but you're more than welcome to it. Yeah. Reminds me of how I played Apex Legends. One of those might go. actually suit. Pat, Pat, I want. I wanted to. I wanted to know your opinion on something. Which thing? What do you? What? Do, what is your opinion on Taz's design? Has the Tasmanian Devil? Yeah. Uh, it's not quite as disturbing as Crash Bandicoot, but it's kind of weird. What what makes Taz better than Crash? Well, I think that his uh, head is a little bit taller, but I don't know. I mean, the actual species of Tasmanian Devil is sad. They got abused horribly. What about memes? <laughs> I didn't hear anything about memes besides our conversation earlier. Well, I must not have heard a rice on right then. What did you say? I was. I said the the, the cookies I just gnawed into was was a bit bitter. Hmm. I mean, granted, there was a lot of dudes screaming in my ear just now, but <laughs> I'm not sure how I turned that into talking about memes again. Maybe this conversation is a meme in itself. <laughs> The fact that I said cookie, and then it becomes a cookie Look. meme. And I'm from talking memes cookies to bustle. better cookies and cookies people bustle. screaming at Pat's ear. I just still can't believe you call it cookies bussy. That is <laughs> the curse, the most cursed thing you ever said. And I will never forgive you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, okay. I, I okay. feel I feel a little bit dead inside too. Here, here, here's a meme. C Cookie is R Rika Kuma's long lost relative that nobody wishes to remember. Is that how it works? That's how that one comment yeah, said. The Firehawk got rolling, huh? You know, I heard the Firehawk liquefies. Also, drinks them like flesh smoothies. I said this to Shuri, yeah, I'm but sure you're bad at Cookie's Bustle is a way better game course, than Harvester. If everyone had been such a dumbass in the first place, you would Whoops. Almost Ain't that the truth? It. 
Okay, it's like here's the thing. Like even even I remember Harvester being streamed a long time ago. It, I still think it's the PC's most insufferable 5956 on video game I have ever had the misfortune of seeing it played through on this board. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I would be lying if I said I didn't enjoy the game because I did. Well, up until the ending, at least. But Cookie Bustle transcends every, every major feeling. Oh wait, Panther, there's oh, something telling... down. Oh wait, oof, I fell. Are yeah. you thinking that Cookie Oh, there is something buff... down there, I didn't want to go down it. Oh. So you're saying, so you're, uh, you're saying that Cookie's buff soul gave you feels? Oh, there's a psycho mod. It evokes a bunch of emotions. So I guess Cookies does give you feelings. I don't know if it's but the funny, feelings you want. Funny thing, I am eating cookies right now. And how are you I feel? <laughs> These are, like I said, chicken board cookies. They're my favorite kind of cookies. Hawk, if you have an idea of what we're talking about before here, memes, <laughs> screaming, and cookies. Yes. But Shuki, they taste like your cat. Oh my god. I don't know why they would taste like your cat, but apparently they do. Why would I eat a cookie that tastes like my cat? I don't know. That 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 one that one gnome in Billy and Mandy said it tastes like cookie. You as, if you don't as, know, long as if you don't know which episode I'm talking about, it's the episode where Billy goes on a picnic and then has a run-in with some super elves and I guess gnomes. And they go into like war with each other over who gets like more profit. Well, the keeper elves use cookies while the gnomes are forced to use mushrooms. And then in the end, they decide to collaborate together to make mushrooms. Oh my god! Musha keys. <laughs> they taste like your cat! Do they? Gross! I, I have to barely remember watching Billy and Mandy, but that- but Now that I come back and think about it in retrospect, like that show is an acid trip in the hash. Also, I just realized we are hilariously off course. Yeah, that's what happens when we go down that thing. Oh well, let's just turn around. It's fine. We've already killed everything around here, so it's not like it's gonna take forever. Hmm. It just had a cursed thought. Animal crackers it's just took like it's just they taste like actual animals. Lovely. They're based on that is a recurse. Don't let it go to your head. I remember the Sun Sims episode <laughs> where where Homer found a box of animal crackers and then built, bit into a gold giraffe and he and his family went to Africa. The heck are you talking about? The Simpsons. Is the neighbor actually talking about old Simpsons jokes? Like, one thing that I've gotten stuck in my head is the Canyonero song. <laughs> you know, Canyonero! Canyonero! <laughs> <laughs> She also bought up the monorail song, and it instantly, my instincts went to monorail, 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 monorail. My, I don't watch Simpsons that much. My dad watches it, but I do have to admit there were a few instances where the Simpsons got it right. And then, and then Disney brought it, and everything went to shit. No, it went to shit when they bought bought Family Guy. I think it's funny how everybody knows what The Simpsons is, but almost nobody remembers the Tracy Ullman show. And it started out as just animated bumpers for that. 
Well, shows oh, tend yes. to evolve beyond their original meaning, anywho. Oh, uh, yes. Ooh. Back back when good old homeboy sounded just like this. <laughs> Who? Homer, probably. Okay, nothing yeah. better. Oh, there is a loot crate, but that's... There is we were just, an ammo crate. We are basically there. talking about the general golden age, the Simpsons. This how about like the specific golden mid, age? The specific golden age. I mean, how like specific? The mid 90s. How specific you want to get? This fire hot guy, the Crimson Raiders ain't exactly long for this world. You know what? I'm thinking the golden age was around like the I mid 90s. <laughs> pathetic resistance dying. And me laughing. <laughs> A lot. That's not how it works out, bud. Right. Ooh. I like this guy. He, he's kind of like me a lot. I also do laugh a lot. What, Handsome Jack? How dare you kid with Handsome Jack? <laughs> oh yeah, he's, Jack he's a is a bastard. He's cool, but yeah, he's an he's a dick. But his one-liners are funny as hell. That is true, one. but yeah, unfortunately, it's... he still has to die. Fantastic. He has some Another challenge ones. completed. He has some decent ones in the pre-sequel. Yeah, I mean, he could have been not a piece of shit. Oh no! From the pre-sequel you know? onward, he was—he was a piece of shit. Like he was. Destined to be a oh yeah. Shit. No, I mean, he not necessarily. He could have not been a piece of shit, even in the beginning of the pre-sequel. <laughs> but he didn't. You know, he uh, his heel his heel turn was not guaranteed, but he certainly <laughs> did it. it. It it's just the route that he decided to go down. Well, Hyperion, Hyperion did have sort of a hand in it, I guess, because they were gigantic assholes to him, but then again, all corporations and borderlands are assholes to everybody, so... You can't kill And when he had the opportunity to, you know, get some... get a, a major, uh, you know, break in his favor, he went total shithead mode instead. And, but he didn't have to. He decided to. See, it's kind of like Optimus Prime giving Megatron the opportunity to work, to work together to restore Cybertron, but Megatron just chose to be an asshole instead. I do not know what you're talking about, but I'm going to assume. Oh. If I paid any attention to Transformers, then I would. I don't get it either. The only thing I, I do get, he couldn't ha he couldn't handle the guilt of being of transforming into a gun, so he decided to become an asshole. <laughs> oh my god! That is certainly a take on it. Oh, well, it's kind of the. The Megatron transforming into a gun part is true. Doesn't he transform into a tank? No, he's a big ass pistol. Big ass pistol. Because I remember him being able to transform into a tank. Uh, well, that's, well, I think that's in the later. Like I said, I don't pay that much later... attention to it, so maybe he did. Shut up. Right I think that's in the later parts of Transformers. Wait, no. No, no, I remember Marine. It was when... It, it was the, the 80s version of Transformers. <clears throat> well, that's the only one I've ever seen, and I was a little babby at the time, so... How much I remember okay. is questionable. Okay, so... There's a... I guess it's like a short story, but... 
I think I remember I thought Transformers was being weird because it was just giant robots using giant guns when for my belief it was my entire time was that these big robots they would just had like they always had like an arm cannon that could just shoot out. Like when I saw the eighties Transformers and they had like when they had like these big guns and stuff. I was too full of it. Which is probably why they decided to give Optimus Prime a sword to even things out. Hmm. He had a sword? Yeah, he had a big ass sword. A flaming big ass sword. I guess it was. This was the 80s. I guess he was trying to compete with the likes of He Man and Thundercats. Man. I don't know how they ever got all the, the obvious gay it. imagery in He-Man <laughs> past people. But, like <laughs> that should have there should have been. They all dress like leather daddies. Gay He-Man is a sentence I would never thought I would hear in 2023. Well, look at them. Just look at the character designs. I can't not. I guess how they got that like, past the. Oh, is that a rifle? Is that an assault rifle? It's also kind of funny that for me I to hear too. Game. I am looking for one of those. It's also fun. It's also really funny for me to hear too, because back back then, nobody gave a shit about He Man, but everybody is lambasting about Barbie, twenty four seven. It's like oh, man, is, is the fast culture still exists. Nah, not anymore. It's like. It's like there used to be a culture or like it's like stuff like stuff like He-Man, He-Man, uh Transformers, G.I. Joe, and other stuff with the like like basically any figure made for boys is just in on Barbie because it's too girly. Oh, you feel that? The sound of those earthquakes marks my drills getting closer and closer to the vault. That's the sound of progress, baby. Also because of how Barbie used to be insinuated as a as a female stereotype. Well, oh, Barbie was chock full of stereotypes and still is somewhat. Yeah, yeah it's like mind. a bunch of Nothing. Barbie you figures that are nice kind of stereotypes. Sure but, but not He Man. Because He Man is a okay in our books. <laughs> anyway, I will be, I'll be right back, Pat, really quick. One moment. Okay. Oh, there's a Titan class mod over here in this vending machine while I'm gone if you want to look. Hmm. He's a okay and he's D A Y. Gay. <laughs> I thought you said yeah. day. Day. <laughs> I think I'll stick with the mod I've got. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I just thought of I just thought of something. What? Welcome. By the power of gay skull. <laughs> <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> no, when it when it comes to He Man. When it comes to He-Man, I remember the robot chicken skits the most. I don't know, I never really watched He-Man. I don't- okay, so, that's something I want to get off. Like, my chest. I don't know why, but the parodies just make Skeletor look so funny. Well, it kinda is. It's the muscle dude with a skull head. That's just automatically funny. Oh. I don't think it's not that. I don't think it's. I don't think that's what makes him funny. What makes him funny is this stupid high pitched voice. Well, yeah, that also contributes. I remember reading about the reason why he has a skull face. And that Damn reason it. was. Looking back. That reason was that apparently he was betrayed and he had like acid thrown on his, thrown on his face. Which is why his face is now a skull. I'm not even. I'm gonna. I'm not even trying to question how you stay alive, because magic and stuff. 
What the? Sup, Kiara? Lilith from the original game. How you doing? Oh, okay. The bad guys call me the Firehawk, but the name's Lilith. I'm with the Raiders, like you. I keep the bandits in line, so roll. Before the whole, dis before the whole discussion, be real with it. Yeah. There's a the Transformers game made by Platinum Games. It was Transformers Devastation. I like, want them to get Transformers oof, Devastation. It was a game that fell meridian, that fell under the radar. Because it is a pretty fun game. It, it was a shame that it had to be taken down off from like digital stores yeah, because Give it here. because the because the Transformers yeah. licensing with Hasbro was ending. Appreciate it. Yeah, it sucks. But doesn't but that doesn't mean that you can't pirate the game. That is true. Yo ho ho. Oh, and you want to know what else? Thanks. Bet what? You're for I found a come. copy. He's not here. I found a copy Blood of Devastation at the swap meet for four bucks. I have that copy in my possession now. Ooh. Go <laughs> you. I'll see if I can't phase blast a few of them for you. While we're still on the topic of Transformers, can I just go out and say the Transformers animated is one of the best Transformers animated shows I ever watched? Oh yeah, definitely. Wait, wait, which which Transformers animated are you talking about? Well done. Oops, came up Watch out! Pew, pew. Sorry, how was your day in the Sorry, uh, I'm talking about the... What? What the fuck was it? Oh, this girl novel. Alright, trying to answer your question. The Transformers animated show I watched was for the one in the one that showed up on Cartoon Network. Oh yeah, that one. I remember that one. Yeah, that that was good. That was so good. I have big memories of that one. I think I remember actually owning a toy from that show. They found another way in! Also had like Yeah. Dude, it was I also had like, I also had like the giant ass star screen figure. So I used to just, I used to love smashing at the ground for some reason back then. It was just really fun to just smash him. Oh my god. I had a chance to play, but I can't remember like, what it was. Because I would think it was like from one of the movies that like that show. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to connect back into it so that we're checking it out. Like, it, it was just something about really fun about pitting Star Screen to the ground and then smashing its head with a rock. Watch out! Badass side! Stop! Like, okay. Do you want to know a stupid Toy Story that I had a while ago? Remember Bakugan? I am... Remember how oh, in those Happy go. Meals they basically came with those? Basically, they give you like these balls that are, you know, you know how that works. Yeah. It's a dragon that's in the form of a ball, so on and so forth. I used to collect like several of these Bakugan bitches. toys, and what I would do with them is that I would just toss them around and just smack them with like a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, it broke. No. But like one day they all just stayed on the roof of my house for all the time. Grenade out! Yeah. Uh, they like, you didn't ask someone to get a step ladder? No. Well, that was fun. But we had a ladder, but no Could one bothered to come up, come up there. God, she's an Iridium addict. Shit. Mm-hmm. And... Another thing yeah, about that stuff. is that Give it here. in my old house that we had, there was basically <sighs> like this. Thanks. Well, it's not exactly a roof, but it's more like a shelter. Like this big metal shelter that was right at the side of my house. Uh, yeah, 
Since the vault opened, my siren powers it's have been like, a little... And awesome. most of the Bakugan toys that I had stayed on no that shelter why. house. Now, let's talk about it's like, if voice. someone will, like, try to go over there, it run the risk of the shelter, like, falling. Well, ex-boyfriend. Before the bloodshots grabbed, Roland was getting intel on the vault and what Jack plans to do with it. You have to find him. I gotta head back to Sanctuary, keep the city in one piece while Roland's away. But first, I'm gonna teleport you into the Bloodshot Stronghold. That's where they're keeping Roland. You'll catch him by surprise but, and have a real Yeah, besides be that, I wasn't oh, really no. a fan of Bakugan, to be honest. Like, I got into a fight with it and like a great because of that. I just moved you, like, ten feet, didn't I? Sorry. Still getting used to this. Reminds me, though, Bloodshot Stronghold is full of real tough customers. You might every, want to train a bit every child's you favorite on. toy. You're doing good ball. out there, by the way. Keep it up. Every every child's favorite toy ball, but dragon. Dragon ball. Dragon. <laughs> Dragon's balls. That's it, painful. It sounds, it sounds really popular, right? Whenever they made that into an anime. Oh my god. Yeah. Dragging your balls? They... No. <laughs> Dragging so your fun. balls. <laughs> Oh my god. This is what it takes to become powerful, Kakarot. Dragging your balls all over the ground. Oh Vegeta, that god. looks painful. This is the only way to become stronger. Ooh, uh -huh. nice. I'm gonna drag your balls all over planet now. God damn. <laughs> Oh my god. You appear to be a fox according to your class, Mom. Fantastic day Yeah, that's a fire it's a fire thing. I actually should get something else since I mostly use since I mostly use freaking shock weapons. May it help you kill many things. <laughs> Good luck. Hmm. You're an organ donor. <laughs> eh, I guess I'll tell I guess I'll teleport to Sanctuary really quick, see if there's anything new. I'm back in Sanctuary. Be careful. The bloodshots have camped out all around the dam. You'll want to get a vehicle to soak up some bullets for you. Oh, there is something. Actually, now that I see it. Probably Tannis' mission. <laughs> yes, Tannis. My research is going swimmingly. My psychosis is notwithstanding. Your help is not required. <coughs> okay, yes. so there is a mission. I'm just trying to find it. Someone summoning Shenron is like the equivalent of a kid Maybe walking into class. Walking into class with a pack of gum and everybody wants some. Wanna break some stuff? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true. Like, also, it's so I kind of inspired like, a cult, that one and not the fun ask-you-for-autographs kind. Go, where, I need you to infiltrate the children of the Firehawk and find out if they're bringing, planning anything shady. Bringing, I'd do it myself, but I'm kind of worried they'd freak out if they the, saw the, the shrimp god in guy. person. I forgot his name. Don't talk to the cult's leader. Incinerator the Clayton. Guy. The one who makes bad jokes. Oh, these weirdos. <laughs> the cult of the Incinerator? Why are they weirdos? <laughs> You will see. What, what was he called? The the grand the grand kite, grand incinerator, or something like that. The well, incinerate, grandly. Well, awesome. well, any well, anyways, he was actually planning on bringing him back to life, and then everybody saw that he was summoning Shinron. Everybody goes over to him, and they're like. Hey, I want to make a wish too, and that just gave me like the similar feeling of like 
Somebody bringing a pack of pack gum of in gum. class and everybody wanting some. Oh dear. Oh my god. Mm. And, and in the end, he gum? never, he, he couldn't, he couldn't make the wish to bring, to, to bring the strip guy back to life. It was all for nothing. <laughs> uh, uh. Here, this isn't my favorite gun, but you might. It wasn't his fault. Everybody else just got greedy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I think it's in the okay. in the fault of how basically when you summon all of the Dragon Balls, it's like people are definitely gonna come over there to ask for a wish. That is beautiful. Which, which is because what? it's like. I think it's like everyone can see like the giant that. floating this green dragon so up in the sky, so they just check out to what's going on, and the people that do know about Shenron immediately just go there just to steal a wish. Which, which, which I think is what led to that one arc in GT, where the misuse of the Dragon Balls ended up summoning a bunch of evil dragons. What? So I ended up- so I ended up getting your weapon! Yeah, I did too, when you did it. Oh, okay. I think I might- Alright, let's go meet the cult of the fire dirt. It's more like crap trap. I respect your opinion! <laughs> or a claptrap. Claptrap is humble. I respect your opinion. Oh my god. This is how I go about. Uh, this is how I want to go about my day. A fantastic day for Cassie. I respect. I respect your. your I respect, I respect your opinion. opinion. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine the same thing with Paimon? Imagine if all of Twitter was like that. It would have been more peaceful. Okay, not so sure if I should be scared or not, but let's talk with this guy. I am Incinerator Clayton, and you. I witnessed you enter the lair of the Firehawk and it's, it's return Rushi's unharmed. Cousin. If you truly wish to serve hmm. our mother, you must pass a test. Use a fire weapon to send my brothers to the Eternal Plague. Then collect their ashes and return them to me. Huh. Burning people alive is mildly shady, but these cultists sound like they want it. Which is weird. Do what he asks, I guess. Okay, I have a fire okay. pistol. That counts. Alright, let's go ahead and burn some jeeps then, I guess. Yay, let's, let's, free, free arson. Let's make, like, the flame Hyenard and let's burn to the ground. What a uh, hey, what a Anything but the flame oh, higher in order to rise down. Burn to the ground! Burn to the ground! Burn! Burn! Burn to the ground! Appreciated. We're gonna die. That is enough, my young torch. So I can feel you. the firehawk smiling upon us. Return the ashes to me. Ah, I remember now why I love Bruce's weapon. Where did it go? 
Because it is so, so awesome when they melt slowly. Hey, it's me. Yeah. Hey, Kato. You know what? After recently, I wish I wasn't able to hear with my teeth. You know, doing anything with your teeth besides chewing with them painlessly is kind of bad. I mean, it's kind yeah. of bad. I agree. Mm. I'll survive. You won't. <laughs> so, I can... So, next Tuesday, we won't be streaming this, because I'll get to enjoy the wonders of getting my mice, my mouth sliced open while being high as fuck. Yeah. In other words, sure is going to the dentist. Send your prayers down in the comments. It I'm just glad that experience. when I had to have extractions, I was quite young. Yeah. Because These children it would hurt a whole an lot more now than it did of. Thank you, 20 ish years ago. To me for further trial. Sounds like you're in. I think one day I'm gonna have dangerous. like my wisdom Other teeth removed. Like, I think it was from around was la around last there last fall. I had like a wisdom Children tooth that for like a few for like a week mother, it hurt like it hurt heart. like hell. They follow a heathen demigod known as Scorch. Like it doesn't hurt anymore now, but Destroy I'll have to get that removed eventually so it doesn't go him. around and cause me pain again. Somebody else. Look, just play along. Clayton needs to trust you completely. If they've been doing anything that we need to stop, that's the only way you'll hear about it. Cool, got a nicer shield, awesome. Alright, let's go beat this sports guy. Whee! Not really a guy. Ah, well, let's defeat the scorch. Whatever person. it is! The scorch person. I, a person would not be the word. Whatever it is, I'm not picky. Do they serve buffalo wings? Maybe. I don't, I don't even like buffalo wings. What am I talking about? Help! Goodbye. Goodbye. Man, I love this gun. Shit. Yeah, I was wrong. I did not get a copy of that gun, so... Spider rant. I like spider melt. Spider melt. Does whatever a spider melt does. Melt. Hmm. She also gives you another copy of it if you give her more, or at least a better one. Funny. Hi. 
save, off we go. The deer the stuff. But first, let's go ahead and hit this thing and see if it gives us ammo. Oh, but it gives us health. Yeah. Oh well. There's some Rape. stuff over here. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could go through there. It's all the same. Eat the modori. oxide since I was little. I hear it makes you so that you don't really care about it. Which sounds fun. Nitrous oxide also makes you the fastest racer in the galaxy. <laughs> I love it when nitrous oxide makes me not not I love it when nitrous oxide makes me not give a shit about anything. Oh yeah! These things! Um, so, there are these electrical things where you can get good weapons from them, but you have to solve a puzzle, so let's kill these people and find out how we can shut off the gates. Okay. You can still run! Oh, son of a- They're gonna be really painful, but they're gonna make you super cool. Okay, so mm. in order to unlock this gate, we've got to trace the power lines. Okay. Yep, I've already found it. Oh. It was over here. Alright, let me see if the gate shut off. Yep, it shut off. Let's see what's inside. Uh, let's see. Two assault, an assault rifle and a sniper rifle. Take a look. Yeah, they're Jacobs, though. I don't like Jacobs. Not yeah, really good for this kind of character. Fair enough. Jacob's I'll sell them. What about Jacob's letter? Uh, I don't know how I would use that as a gun, so it also would not be a good for this character. What about Jacob's ladder? So Ryan already what? said. Splatter? He already said that. Yeah. Uh, I said, I thought I heard as ladder. Yeah, Jay said bladder. Oh, I don't care bladder. about Jacob's bladder. That's his problem. <laughs> what, what about? <laughs> what about Jake? What about Jacob two two? I don't even know what you're saying now. Don't worry about it. Oh. A friend. Am I the only one who has... That hurt Jacob's tutu. <laughs> no, Jacob tutu. Uh, dos dos. Nee, nee. Yeah, but he said tutu. That's like the thing ballerina square. But Jay, Jay, the tutu is blind to gender. Uh. The three genders? A two, two. Male, female, and two, two. <laughs> two, two. Two, two. Two, two. One, one. Two, two. Yeah, it's in the dancey thing. Free. I thought the two most important genders were Pikachu and Bunny Girl. Mmm. That is a good point. Congratulations, miss. It's a Pikachu. Why isn't my baby born a Pichu? That is your problem, not mine. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh my god. Remember, in Pokemon, the the child's phenotype is the same as the mother's. Yes, but what is the Xenoblade of the parent? Oh god. No, phenotype. The Xenoblade of the parent. I thought you said Xenotype. <laughs> No, phenotype is the weird, physical appearance, the that manifestation, the, 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 what actually manifests from a particular genotype, of, uh, which is the, the genes. But those genes must feel really comfortable to wear. They are probably... They typically are. Oh boy. It's a glowing porta potty no, I didn't. The of her favorite son, the midget the smack stick. You must take him to the soaring the dragon in the southern shelf and incinerate him within the jaws of the great mechanical beast who dwells there. Uh, smack stick okay. is our most devoted. Um, did, did we just collect him? More than a hundred people for the firehawk, <laughs> with nothing more than an um, and the strength. Of his belief. Okay, this is worrisome. people? Okay, that's impressive. I mean, they were probably just other members of the cult, right? Right? I think my Pokemon Violet copy is bugged. Right, I was so really surprised, straight, and I keep getting this straight for a brambling for a quick coco. Oh, that could be just what, what the RNG picked. It's impossible for a specific copy of a game to be bugged without every copy of that game being bugged. Right. Yeah, but it's like but the now bug might I'm be very. Uh... Every time I do, it's like I've been getting the same trade on repeat for like four times now. I try to go to the surprise trade, it says an error occurs, and then the trade animation just happens over and over again. I can see you! I don't know what the fuck is going on. I can see you! Sweetie Cook like, has to make more sense of the Okay, now, I think, I think now is when this great cat is. I think now is when I actually shoot some play football. I just have to reconnect and disconnect again. Like, enjoy my buggy brambling, whoever you are. Narrow whack field. Need to start uh, capturing, capturing Pikachus, naming them Metapod, and then trading them. <laughs> oh my god. My friends did that to me in Pokemon Go. Peep <laughs> though! No, it's Nya. Oh. I've oh, been here. Wow, been you already. Quiet. He's been here for like 15 minutes and you already could use it for Beto. Jesus. You're very quiet and you two sound the same. They do not sound do the same. Be Beto is not as sweet. sound a little the same. Well, not Beto... exactly, but you do have a little bit of a similar pitch as well. Be Beto sounds noticeably deeper than Nya. Would you rather yeah. me speak in a high-pitched voice? No, you can speak however you want. Tobito sounds more like... Actually, we live in a society of deep pigeon men, and we stir fires because somebody stole our ice cream. Oh my god! Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's 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 how Beto sounds like. That's a statement. I think Nia has honey. like a quieter, the quieter tone. That is. A we... All I understood from that sentence was pigeon people eating ice cream that blew up. Hey, I somehow <laughs> found the loot crate up here. Let's see what it has. Oh, she man. Has shield. Explosive oh, ice well. cream is my favorite. Explosive ice cream is my favorite flavor. Explosive ice cream, huh? Yeah, explosive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, explosive ice cream. God's blessing of this wonderful ice cream. 
Aqua should just start her own. Aqua should just start her own brand of selling sweets and ice cream called Kono Sugar. Mm. Oh, oh, God. Sure, we, sure. Have to, we have to fight our way through the freighter again. Oh well. Yep, this is uh, one of those revisit quests. <laughs> Even the brand of granulated sugar has the same name. What's granulated sugar? Sugar. sugar. It's broken down into very fine powder and stuff yes. stuck together in cakes. Ah, uh, okay. I had a sugar cane once. Sugar cane is delicious. Sugar canes are fun to chew on. Another yeah, I've never thing encountered sugar, sugar cane. cane. They're, they're, a lot, they're a lot more common here. Pata is the best sugar you will ever eat. Taste. Circle? I don't know. Just suck on to chew on anything. Mm. This is not exactly a big sugar cane growing area, so. Gonna give you up. I'm gonna beat you to life! You're gonna beat me to life, huh? Okay. <laughs> You know, I, these things, these bandits just say whatever random things comes to mind. They're like, Ammo yeah, Frackers eat my soup! Monkeys and rabbits, loopy loops! <laughs> well, they are supposed to be crazy. <laughs> I, want, I want somebody to count every single grain of granulated sugar. Whoops. Well, I better charge in, because I just hit my skill. How much would you pay me to do that? Uh... In head pack. <laughs> Those are free. 500 head pack. I'm holding you to that. I will count every single piece of granulated sugar in back. Please don't. Please don't I'm doing do it that. anyway now. No. You've already sent me to it. No. Yeah. Do it. I. Just, I don't have granulated sugar, actually. Don't worry about it. That might it. take a while. Get, don't worry about it. You'll get bored of it eventually. It's impossible to count every grain of sugar. It's like seeing why do kids love cinnamon toast crunch? Because they of don't. it. It's delicious. It isn't. Because people want to crave those crazy squares. I I'm like finally. I love how every I love how everybody answered. I'm sorry. I love how Wait. everybody answered a different thing over than the cliche answer. That was that was a thing. What was the cliche what? answer? That's a disseminating post squirrels inside. Mm. I said I said what? The cinnamon toast crunch and why they're so cannibalistic with each other. I like them you just know because what? they're I cannibals. Know. I will say this. Cinnamon Toast Crunch are goaded. You seem to be getting attacked by racks. Yes, they are annoying! Somehow I got a lucky shot with Please an explosive die. bullet on that one. How much does a bag of granulated sugar cost? I don't know, two, three bucks. That's, uh... That's subsidized. So it tends to be fairly cheap. I still wouldn't count every grain of sugar. That's crazy. Plus, all of the all of the greens will stick together, and it'll be impossible to count. Got some I will grab ya. tweezers if I have a challenge. <laughs> I'm doing this one day. You cannot stop me. Yes, I will. Uh, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna revoke. I'm gonna revoke all of your hit pan counts. Yeah. <laughs> yes, right. This is me I were talking about. She actually did the 10 hour nap challenge. And the Shrek one. The Shrek. How do you. What does the Shrek challenge entail? Jay, would you like to explain? I don't know. Uh, I kinda. I kinda had a pet. Another present! My sweet, sweet 
I would like to stop yeah. that so uh, I picking I stuff think, up. I think I sent her like a 10 hour video of Mash Mouth song, you know, the one. And it's specifically the part where it says, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. <laughs> stop coming. Oh, that's evil. Wasn't my time. Eee. Well, she wanted to do it. Don't put this on me. She wanted to comply. I'll tell you what, then. Here's a challenge you can do that is slightly less crazy. Find out yes. exactly how many licks it takes to get to the center of a pussy hole. How about that? Wasn't well, we it like know the 375? Mr. L said it was three. Mr. L, like, the way we know Mr. L is always right, so. Not the owl one, but like a cat doing it. Isn't that like 375 entire cat? No, that's the wrong answer. The the right answer is one to who to free crunch. 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 I'm just imagining the same commercial but with new mate. And we'll make you eat the whole thing. Yeah. Wait, did you say a Tootsie Roll Pop? Yeah. Yeah. You've yeah. been talking about it. Dog? Oh my god. This is a lot too. <laughs> my oh whole my life, god. I was told it had gum inside, so I never followed what? it. What? Oh my yes. god. No. I was betrayed. What? There is a kind that has gum inside, but that's not a Tootsie Roll Pop. What? I can't remember that's the name of the guy that has gum inside. Pop. Oh no, it's not, gum. it's not gum, it's not gum, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not... Tootsie Roll Pop isn't gum. Yeah. I, I can't remember the brand name of the ones that are suckers of gum inside. Yeah. They do healing. exist. I think, I think, like, Tootsie Roll has, like, a pop one. Watch it! Badass! Enough, bro. Pretty cool. And the lollipop is just that, it's just the Tootsie Rop inside a lollipop. Okay, lollipop. Uh, yeah. How disappointed were you? How disappointed were you when you found out that Candy that Candyland was not a real place? Repeat that? For me? Oh my God! No, I, what you what are you doing I always knew her. Candyland wasn't a real place. What no, are you no, showing no, no. the harsh truth of the world? I didn't hear what you said. What? How how shocked were you when you oh, found out that bunch Candy? Oh, there's a bunch of here. Don't how... listen to him. Candyland is definitely real. How shocked were you when you found out that Candyland wasn't a real place? Candyland's a fun game. It exists in my dreams. That's good enough for me. Not that shocked. Yeah. Yeah, in your face, alright. Yeah. You know, I used to have. You can't deny me the harsh truths of reality. I used to have a candy, a Candyland software package when I was little. It was like this stupid little board game thing where you would wander around and do various activities. What's a Candyland software package? It was this really old game for the Windows 95. I'll have to look it up when I have a chance. But what, what, what about? Heard of that. But do you also remember the hit anime Candyland Saga? No. What is that? I was just about there to say that. There isn't. I was just about to say that. I, I thought it was a thing. I was gonna say I know this thing called Candyland Saga, but I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, a, a bunch of girls get reanimated as candy. Huh? And they must form an idol group to save Candyland. Oh my god. Oh god. Hey, you are so full of shit to be as long. I'm gonna be honest, that just sounds right. like my little pony. No, no. <laughs> right. You know, it might be though. It might be like. That's just a man saga. That sounds like something that it w that would air on the Candyland instead of Equestria. Oh, no, no, no. I know what that sounds like. That sounds like an old doll show. That was animated that I used to be forced to watch by some of my babies that. Uh, there were a lot of them in the 90s. You would have to be more freaking specific. It was okay. a new one from like... Uh, I don't know, actually. 
Can I just say something? Alright, you wanna know the reason why they're like Kadokawa makes so much isekai? It's because you keep giving them ideas. <laughs> like, I, remember the, I remember there used to be this show called Sky Dancers where it was like these little twirly things. That you uh, I remember pulled, those. That you pull the string on and they spin and they could and they could oh, hurt yeah. people slightly if you aim them as what they <laughs> I remember those. That show was yeah, that show was pop weapons. that show was popular, but was canceled because of how dangerous the toys were. Yeah, yeah, the Most toys were basically this. the toys for shurikens in form of a fairy. <laughs> and they were they were reworked into a less awesome TV show like and a less was... awesome toy. Like it was like... so much fun. <laughs> It's like, I'm betting to think the reason the show got cancelled was not because of that, but because of the show, they weren't- it wasn't shown scenes where people got hurt by the fairies. Because they spent around too much. It's like, if I don't see a- if I don't see someone getting hurt because of those pixel spinny things, then this show sucks. Badass in range! Woo! A really? Do you remember the easy bake oven? Yeah! Oh, yes, that one. We and the light not rate. speak of that Whoa. thing. My sister had the safer ones. I remember when I really wanted to have an easy bake oven, but I wasn't allowed to because they, they were for girls. <laughs> I remember ha I remember I had one of those creepy crawlers. It's like, you know, like, it's like these, it's like these, these, I don't know what you call it, but basically you, you bake this, you basically bake bugs in form of candy, it's like you put the, you put the, some kind of solution, I guess, some kind of candy, you put it into the bug out layer, and then you bake it, and then it turns into like this piece of jelly candy. Finally, an excuse for, an excuse for Carol to eat bugs, not real bugs. Yeah. Do you guys remember those little capsule things that you put in water and then they'd become animals? Oh yeah, yeah. everybody everybody knows about those. Those are fun. The, the, like Chia pets? No. no. Little, little sponge dinosaurs that you put in the water and they grew into size. Oh. Stop. Oh, pills. I'm those boys. Did we aggro him from all the way over here? I don't know. Welcome to Z welcome back to Xenoblade Shuri. I haven't really had any aggro issues in all fairness. Murder, yeah, but it's like it has the problem where you get aggro even from far away. Like even when the enemy thinks that you don't thinks it didn't see you, it's like the battle just starts. So last time I played, I got the colony to level one, which was nice. Quiet! Yeah, yeah. At, at, at the part you're in right now, which is the best thing I can do, is I think you're already good to get all of them at level one. <laughs> Alright, do you want to start with the class? Just the gif and yeah, post it. I feel yeah. bad for that little girl who was really saying the hair badge for me. <laughs> Did, did we already <laughs> kill the captain, Kata? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I killed him over there. There's a stuff. I picked it up. Oh my god. Did he happen, to, uh... did he happen to drop a shock pistol? No, it was a fire pistol. Okay, it's a stupid matchstick. Who cares? Right. Oh my god. Are you guys If okay? you two have no idea, it's basically like those thick pixel twirly fairy things you were talking about it's like it's a gif of a girl just just letting it rip and then the fairy just flew all the way to the fireplace 
<laughs> oh, I've seen that video. Really are just sitting around burning one another for giggles. Maybe we don't have to worry about them. Oh I'm so betrayed right now. I'm looking at granulated sugar oh. prices. It's like, oh, oh, There's I three can different buy. prices. Buy. There's two ninety four on Walmart. Fifty dollars at Webrest. Webstaurantstore.com and then well, fifty one ninety nine for Amazon.com with free what shipping. Are the quantities on the fifty dollar bags. Get to the incinerator fifty pounds, twenty five pounds. Yeah, and that's that would be the oh. difference. I feel your embrace, my heart. I love you. I love you so much. Uh, I never liked this part. I think I'll just do Shut a four up. pound bag. That yeah, twenty five or fifty is gonna be. A lot more money. That was a thing. Uh, definitely a thing. That was a thing. Oh well. Let's, thing walk, let's walk back. I'm gonna jump off the ship instead. That was too disturbing. Oh my god. Oh, no, it won't let me. Why, you Why won't you let me die? You're gonna come to carry carry or something? I'm going to, but. Yeah, not there's invisible die. walls. I get there we go. Carry, All right. carry. Oh, and but I landed in balance, so it didn't hurt me. If I remember oh correctly God. from the one time I farmed this place, there should be an exit nearby. One moment. Well, you can exit through the boat. The dinghy, well, not dinghy, but the little fishing boat. Except the, except the boat left. That's rude. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just jump back. There we go. It's time to jump up in the air. Jump up, don't be scared. Jump up, and you can go home. But will our cares really fall away, or will they just come back sometime and be like, Hey, I'm your cares, I'm back! <laughs> I found a tutu gift. Tutu gift. A what? A tutu, tutu gift. gift. Oh, that it... gift. Oh, did you that. find a point? <laughs> a tutu gift. What? <laughs> oh god. Oh. Uh. Tutu gift. Oh, yes. Yeah. Very fluffy. <laughs> yes. Save me from this misery. No, you can't escape, Alice. Grace is fast. Yes, you're stuck with this now. Eat him up, eat him you're up, stuck, eat him up. You're stuck among us whether you like it or not. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. Da, da, dun. I really just say among us, didn't I? You did. Just some Yes, just Does anyone have jokes? Um. Uh. You run out. Of, you run out of jokes. No, but I want to hear some jokes from you guys before I have to go to bed. I do not know jokes. Uh, a lot of my uh, jokes are just random commentary. So no. Uh... Hey. I was hoping we'd be that able was... to teleport. No, no. We could go back to, um, Liarsburg. Oh, man. We'll just. Liarsburg. It won't take us that long. <laughs> Cat would like everyone to know that he is bored and he wishes to come in here. Ah, oh, that is unfortunate. For missing granted. That is unfortunate for your cat. Yeah. He's gonna have to wait an hour. 
Can I have a picture oh, of your God. cat? I will dig one up afterwards. I have some, but they're all on my phone. I, I, I was muted the whole time. Ugh. Why were you muted? I don't yeah. know. Oh, okay. that was my Now you know my pain, alright. Okay, okay, let me tell you a joke I came up on the spot. There was this comedian hen, and the hen's sister would did not approve of her brother's joke, so she walked up on stage, cracked an egg all over his face, and went, The yolk's on you! We no. should have done that one. Uh, ha 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 Come on, what are you doing? Laugh. Laugh at the Arise song joke. The Arise song joke. The Arise song joke. My whole, my whole being is this is the joke. Aww, but you're a joke. You don't laugh at the Arise song joke. Five seconds, I'm going to come alive in your walls. I, I just remember that I could pet a shark. I just, I just remembered something earlier. What? Before, at the, like around the start, like during the start of the stream, like every time when I see, okay, anyone ever heard of a channel called Three Two One Go? No. Three Two One yes. Contact. Mm -hmm. I have heard of it. It's a series of apparently apparent life hack videos that are. <laughs> okay, how did how did it scrape it? Is it one of those things that's bogus? The bogus. Let's just say bogus. And then, yeah. And every time I see one of those videos that my niece is watching, I'm like, I'm a bad, 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 man. Look at I'm so cool, man. Oh my god. <laughs> No offense, but your sister needs needs standards. Your niece. Well, was it your niece? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Your niece. Your niece. That is true. <sighs> like, isn't this the same person who found our man? I mean, it's not yep. like standards are really in big supply. Yep. <laughs> I wish you really need some standards. I wish I could have been there more for my niece. It's too late for her. I'm, oh, well, I'm while I'm that. here, I may as well see if I can buy some class mods really quick. I'm sorry for your loss. Okay, I have uh, a joke, and then I have to go. Okay, what's Why do cows wear bells? Hey, Roller, Why? Why? Jack here, remember me? Because their horns don't work. <laughs> 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 Fear me and on, my dad joke. Just wanted to congratulate Jack that you successfully your death by Farewell. Be sure to drink water. Stay safe. Love you guys. Bye. Make it easy. Yeah. Thank, 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 thank you. you. Uh, fucking crap. Feeling overburdened by money. So I respect your opinion. No refund. Oh, there's something I gotta share. There's something I gotta share with you near the end of this stream, but oh, for the love of God, well, you may as well come over here, Panda. They've got more guns for your mods. Okay, I got a joke. Wait. Clap track, more like clap crap. More like crap crap. Crap trap. Crap trap's oh, hey, already been class said. Mod I could finally use. Delightful. It's already been said for a reason. It sounds better. Two flicker skill, whatever the hell flicker is. Flicker or flicker. <clears throat> Where are these mods? Oh, here it is. Uh. Oh, uh, requires one point of training. Right oh, whatever, I'd still get more corrosive damage. Anywho, I'll be right back really quick. One moment. Yeah, I need water. Understandable. Definitely stay. <laughs>
Um, what is that? Perfect crossing the road. <laughs> Why did you cross the road? <laughs> To commit war crimes. Not, as I meant shooting, not rushing. Huh. Well, same difference. Same difference. What? The, I know why. Why? The, so she can bonk someone in the head. Bonk. Wonk. Wink. Wonk. Wonk. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Is Pabba still gone? Yeah. He just he said he went to get water. <laughs> Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and get the board. <laughs> okay, should be somewhere fairly close to here. Okay, creepy dude, we burnt your friend. Thank you, Torch. We shall join Matchstick soon. The enkindling approaches. The what now? Wait. It is time for the enkindling, young Torch. The enkindling? Time to sacrifice oh, to our blazing mother. Oh, boy. Okay, so we gotta light effigies on fire. Oh, I guess we have to do it with fire weapons. Okay. Clayton said the enkindling? That could be very bad. Or it could be like a cookout or something. Just keep an open mind about it, you know? These guys aren't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, you don't say! <laughs> oh, that made me laugh so hard right to you first. That was funny. Sure, sure. The name Shuri is pretty much an anagram of the team. Of what? That is she? Oh. Yeah, for me. Yeah, but we're different. I'm just thinking, like, if the roles were swapped, like, you would be the scarecrow and she would be the magical girl wielding a hammer. Except the hammer is a flaming hammer. Like, you two are different people, but have the same cause. Yes. I'm just imagining like I'm just imagining like Rushi's hammer being like a pitchfork oh, and a fuck. and a block of hay on fire. Oh, that sounds badass. You can still run. I call it the Haymaker. Stay put. Oh, that's a good name. That's a good ass name. 
<laughs> Ain't no way he just referenced the classic 1998 game and Deadpool. Welcome to die. My new host, welcome to die. Could have, it could have been more crazier. Could have referenced, I'm a juggernaut bitch. No, it's oh, no, you gotta time. do it with the British accent. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. I am the juggernaut, bitch. Yeah, you what? Yeah, you what? Mash, mash, you know, too. Don't you know who I am? I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Yeah, well, you know, I'm the motherfucking Batman. You know that I'm one bad. Shoe. That one bad X Men movie. A, a, had to be the one movie to actually reference that meme. And Very yet it was. Something. And yet Deadpool 2 had the juggernaut. And it would have been the perfect movie to have that reference. But he never said it. Yeah, yeah, it definitely would have been. Also, Shuri, want to hear something? Return to me and let the human sacrifice I'm commence. the juggernaut, bitch. Okay, <laughs> sugar that sounds pretty evil. Just head to this enkindling thing. If things get creepy, I'll make an appearance. Oh, oh, I better Be careful. Yet. I am a shoe, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. You have to do it with the cutesy <laughs> voice. The, 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 the last thing. Menacing. Like Shuri looms before you with a that's, smile. That's uh, exit Red. only. Uh. Shuri, lo Shuri looms before you with a smile, ready to smash your face in with her hammer. Okay, so. If you want to fret, if you want to fret someone, you if you want to fret someone, just say a quote from Shuri in the cutesy voice. Oh my god! I don't have a cutesy voice. You can try. I don't think I, there's any way for me to do that. It'll be funny though. Hey, I had to work freaking hard for this voice, don't you know? It took a lot of time and a lot of practice to be able to do this somewhat naturally. I do not have experience in voices. I this, don't know. Do you is know. this really the way? Yeah, because what's gonna happen is we're gonna turn, we have to turn around. It'll be we have to turn around, but it's close. Oh right, we have to turn around up that ramp. Go up there. Rushi's magical girl outfit would probably look more akin to those Sunday morning Maho Shoujo Maho Shoujo anime. Okay, fine. That would, that would end Rushi. Yeah. Great. I think Rushi would look like Sailor Moon if she tried. No, no. I mean, like those Sunday morning anime that would air in Japan. Like, like, pretty cure? Yeah, essentially. You gotta tell Rushi that. I want to, I just want to hear her reaction. I think we What is it? I think it's like a shortcut. I think it's like a shortcut. Ebo was at Oh no wait, no, you're right. This this is the way to turn around. Don't remember. 
Oh, this is that one tunnel. Okay. Enough. Imagine installing a voice mod for that map where he just speaks like King Harkinian. Do my own plan with my own staff that works with him like literally anyone else. Like, if you don't know who King Harkinian is, don't worry. Oh, oh, don't worry. He sounds, he, he's basically the, I wonder what's for dinner, from the Zelda CDI game. Calm down. My boy. Thank, thank, thank you for giving me this kind of voice. My previous voice. I'm Ooh. back, bitches. So I sound a lot more sophisticated than this. Now I wonder what's what then. for Adventure Kazooie this Thursday. It's gonna be fun. fun. Oh, nice. <laughs> started out as a Super Nintendo game where it was more like some sort of fantasy game and then development shifted to the N64 this and then it just decided to decide to ditch, down. Like, I mean there's still fantasy in that game but they, they had like different protagonists different characters and everything they're in and, a different kind of fantasy I thought the plans were already made when he was added to the City Kong Racing. I don't know the deep lore behind Banjo Kazooie. Banjo, well, I kind of do know the deep lore of City Kong Racing. Ah, uh, yes. The one game that has. The one game that has kid friendly conquer. <laughs> yeah, like originally, Conker's Bat Verde was supposed oh, to be known as Con boy. was supposed to be well, you know, twelve days. I think I remember it's like Conker's Fall Tales. I guess it's like I know you had like a Game Boy Color game, but it was meant to be like a full standalone and before family friendly Conker game. I think it was called Twelve Days. Conker's Twelve Days. Twelve Tales. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so it was in 12 Tales until development shifted for it to make a, a more mature Conquer game. And that's the Conquer we know and that's we got the Conquer we know and love. But love is a statement that differs from person to person. Oh yeah, I meant that. <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 the development history of Bad Birdie is also interesting too. Like, a prototype of World 12 Tales is still out there. I mean, if you can find the prototype for Dinosaur Planet, you can definitely find a prototype for 12 Tales. What? <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Speaking of Diddy Kong, speaking of Diddy Kong racing, there's a there's a PS2 game that I found out about yesterday. <laughs> What's it called? Again? PS2 game. Fantastic. Fre fre freaky Flyer. I think that I think that's a new game. 
3D flyer. That name, that, that name rings a, rings a bell. Okay, here we go. I'll tell you about the car of that game. It's primarily a flying racing game, much like the flying segments in Diddy Kong Racing. Ellen the Heathen. You're able to shoot down objects in the level to, 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 to deter your opponent, and the level drastically changes depending on how many objects you shoot within said level to make the races more interesting. That sounds like a time. I will, and now I now list the con. I will, I will tell you the con now. Wait, why? The, the flying doesn't feel good like Diddy Kong Racing's flight, flight racing. Mm. It feels too floaty and too rubber bandy. It's a very weird thing to say unless you play it for yourself. And second, for, for the cast of characters that they had to work with for that game, they just chose to like insinuate every racial stereotype in the book. Oh, yeah, fuck. Uh, I don't like where this is going. Like, the game does have... does have potential, but just ended up becoming shit. And racist, too. That's what game was it? Freaky free Flyers. Oh. And that's why I decided to call the game Diddy Kong Racist. <laughs> Diddy Kong Racist. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> That's creative. All right, leave my boy alone. Diddy Kong said nothing racist. No, I'm talking about Freaky Flyers, which is basically I know. a flight level for Diddy Kong Racing, but every character is a racial stereotype. Like, I know. you have the Indian guy on the carpet with his turban. You got the stereotypical German, stereotypical Italian. Every stereotype. Stereotypical you... Japanese with broken English. Every major stereo racial stereotype that you can think of all cramped together in a game like that. Please, and here I thought had... Punch Out was racist. Please, please don't tell me that the German is in a tank or something. No, unfortunately, he's not in a tank. Okay. And one of the, interest, the most interesting thing about it was the most. What? It, was it was originally meant for a 1997 yeah. release on the PS1, but because of several delays, it ended up being released on the PS2 in 2003. Ooh. It should have stayed in development hell, to be honest. Yep. There's also one character in that game that looks straight up like the Simon Belmont from Captain N. Ah, hell, I crashed. Give me a moment. Oh, so that's why everything is all weird right now. Crash! Bandicoot. Crash, Pick. Bandicoot, Crash, Bandicoot. If Crash, if Crash, I, I is, so, that if crash is so dumb, how is he able to fly a plane? A, a uh, pilot ship pack? It just makes it work. It just works. Me, don't ask me. He just makes it work. Wait, how does Kirby pilot a mech? And Very carefully. That, well, to be honest, it the, ones that, the ones that brought the mech, they were piloting it, and they were conveniently just, as size as Kirby. This is learn from the fly. Let me go ahead and add you. <laughs> All right, let me turn these in. Friggin' cults. Ooh, a legend, a legendary shield, the Fire Nova shield. Nice. Ooh. 
Faked your own death? Tricky stuff. Did it a couple years back to throw Hyperion off my trail, but apparently some bandit's been spying on me. He's gonna tell Hyperion what he knows, unless you take him out first. <coughs> Hyperion ain't gonna know what hit him. Hyperion is gonna flirt with her for the turn. I respect your opinion. I'm a chuckster. I'm a chuckster and I respect your opinion. Dunk. <laughs> oh I chuck your opinion. Okay, he's trying to figure out. Oh, it's just south of here. Actually, let's grab a vehicle. It's gonna take forever if we do. I can already. Later, Vault Hunter. Yeah, they parallel grab. Caveat: Don't have almost <laughs> dead. I can fix that. Stay alive. <laughs> okay, I think we have the exit. Yep. Beware. Be aware. Pokemon. Stop struggling. <laughs> Miracle flare so yeah. Explosives! Keep firing! Oh, yeah. How about that? Drop something? Check it out. He also dropped a couple of other interesting stuff. Like he dropped the blue a blue submachine gun that's crampier than the one I have now. Mr. Bull, we at Hyperion are skeptical. The bandit Lilith was confirmed dead after the liberation of New Haven. We will need to listen to your oh, footage shit. before payment can be processed. Leave the echoes in the attached dead drop locations. Mr. Blake. Find those echoes, killer. If Hyperion finds out I'm alive and working with the Crimson Raiders, it could be New Haven all over again. Was the uh, submachine gun elemental? Uh, no. But it's, okay. a t it's a TDR uh -huh. one that explodes like a grenade. Yeah. I'm very fast. Hold on. Violence attractive. <laughs> Random pistols in here. Give you. Hey, you can take them. Come here when you're ready. Panna hops off support the vehicle, Dukes of Hazard style. Oh 
maps? We are the half. We are the hazardous dukes, and we're gonna commit. And we're gonna do some hazardous dukes all over your lawn. What? I don't know. I've never seen dukes of hazards. Oh. You're not missing much. Oh no, it's not near here. Unless you want to get something else. No. I got out prematurely. Wow. Another challenge completed. Shoot him now down. Okay, now we just gotta find it <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Uh, <laughs> Maybe the thing you're looking out for it. Is. Maybe the thing you're looking for is. Among us. Maybe it is above us. Okay, whatever. See among us. Yep, here it is. Above us. <laughs> so what's the emergency? Couldn't hit here among us. Above us. Come again. I was out hunting and hmm. I found some of that iridium stuff and one of those weird worshipper guys sees me and I chase him down and grab him and he just liquefied. It was awesome. I don't know if it's because of the vault opening or being a siren or both, but this iridium stuff is the tits. You look really pale. You, you were saying about Duke's of Hazard. passed out a few times, but this could be huge. Okay, but why not just send an echo? Why call me out here and increase the risk of Hyperion finding out you're still working with the Crimson Raiders? Uh, uh, um, because... How, how are you doing? I think I'm gonna leave now. Okay. I kind of feel bad for her. She's feeling so horribly. Mm. You were saying about Duke the Hazard? You mean other than the fact that it's full of Confederate stuff that is by its very nature <laughs> racist? Come on, but it has that full sliding into a car thing that everyone likes to do. Uh, you know, it, it is kind of a good thing I've never watched it anyway. I think I'm remembering the ones you're from watching it. Yeah. I mean, what's so good about a bunch of Dukes of Hazards <laughs> leaving, leaving behind Dukes of Hazards all over your lawn? <laughs> oh my god. Well. Well, well, how would you react if you if you wake up in the morning and you and you see like two dudes and, and a charger on your Jack lawn? Just left them for dead in the snow well, I would just call the police the because the they're intruding up, upon my private property. I'll see if I can contact you by echo on my way back to sanctuary. Good. You can go now. Well, I'm sorry. I just got here. I'm a little busy waging a one even the, even the charger. The tundra, so yes, the charger. But hey, if you want to hang out, I can just give up this Firehawk thing and let the Bloodshots overrun Sanctuary. Uh, no, no, uh, no. You're, you're right, of course. Are you sure? I can make Coco. We can talk about boys. I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just talk to you once I find Also, can I talk about something hilarious? Sorry for... Well, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> back to Sanctuary we go. Play hard to get. That's can how I talk about it. something hilarious? Hi, Firehawk. Yeah, oh my god! <laughs> A game that complete pieces. that shadow drop and completely outsold Forspoken. 
Well, to be fair, that wasn't hard. From what I've heard, it's from what I've heard, they basically rely on the high GC specs in order to power through the various inefficiencies in their engine and textures. By the way, for spoken same at for Spoken's engine is the same they use for Final Fantasy XV. Ah, they, well, they did such a shit job with it. Obviously, they should have planned a little better. High quality, low prices, and no questions. Well, asked. yeah, that's a given. Good luck. I hate, I hate funny. that trend in design. It's like, oh, every gamer has good hardware. We don't need to make things efficient. It's like, what's funny Welcome to me customer. is that, like, suddenly this brand spanking new stylish game called Hi-Fi Rush to Seattle.com PC, and it immediately outsold for Spoken on PC the same week of. And Thanks. You, I the saw, I saw knows a about brand me, the new better. gameplay of it, you didn't, and it uh, looks really listen cool. To those echoes, like I right? actually want to get it more than Forspoken, even though I said before that I don't want to try Forspoken. Um, like I like the idea and concept, but I'll I'll just wait for a little bit. But Hi-Fi Rush, <laughs> boy. <laughs> That game's the bee's knees, for lack of a better term. Oh, also, also, that, also, that game does at least that game also doesn't abuse your your PC. <laughs> I like how they called it a stupid pile of scrap, and before he uh, left, the... he was just like, "Thanks." <laughs> just no, I thought I thought it hurt. Bah. Bah. Huh. Bah. Nobody seems to be around. Just drive Stop. up and honk your horn. Maybe this will be so hard your after opinion. all. Okay, get in the car. If they're having us honk the horn, that means we need a car. I'm about to get one. You won't find better merchandise anywhere else. I've made sure of that. Check back later to see my new weapon of the day. Weapon of the day. What is the horn button? Oh, that one. Okay. It's Z. Z for Zorn. Gives you a lot of scorn. Yeah, yeah, I'm opening the gate! Hold it, idiots! Hmm. That don't look like one of our technicals! They're here for a hostage! Get them! Now we tried. Uh -huh. You ain't getting in the dam that way, Peppernip. Blood shots ain't let you in without a truck like theirs. Go see my kid out with this. She'll hook you up with some skinny little wheels. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nose way out in Banner Country. Oh, crap. Be careful out there, amigo. Uh -huh. I mean. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. Wasn't even close. Grab the cat. They keep letting you out. God damn it. AI. AI part. I like help. AI part. Ah. I have a different quality to be honest. And the same effort. I'm putting the us in peace. How kind of you. Build me red. What do you think of uh, Felix the Cat? Alright, I think that's everybody. Let's just drive out of here. You like the cat? <gasps> Oh, hold on, hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Actually, I'll be right back really quick. We've got a driver there, I guess, while we're. Alright. I remember owning. Oh, 
I got it back in here. I remember owning a collection of classic cartoons in one DVD. And I had like three... I had like three episodes of the Phoenix the Cat cartoon. One of them was like off sync with audio. Finally, hold on. What? After seven fucking combined hours in Wonder Trade, yeah. I finally actually. Seven hours. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Yay. Several Charmander, Proki, Score Bunnies, and Lechunks later. I Le finally Chunk. got one. Yay. Yeah. Yeehaw. Let's go. I should have killed your fat ass when I had the chance! Stop I feel so giddy right now. You gotta spank that! Oh my god. Ellie, you look like you came out of TLC. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, howdy! I didn't see you there. Oh, I, I, I wasn't aware that we were meeting Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> nah, I think what I think what I meant is Miss. I think what I meant is my six hundred pound <laughs> life. I didn't know that show too. Okay. I'm in the danger I would just like to point out that Ellie is the only the happy spawn. person on Pandora. So, watch Good the for judging. Her. Good for her. Good for her. Okay. Yeah. Well, you deserve to be happy. Uh, I guess we can talk to Ellie and start kicking off her quest or whatever. But name's Ellie. My brother Scooter told me you was coming. Don't get many visitors around here, especially not oh, one so God, close. Of course you have Trying a sovereign accent. Trying to rescue from the dam, huh? Oh, I bet boy. you could fool those blood shops if you drove up Come to on, she's and friendly. I got yeah. one right over yonder that I crushed with the driver still inside. My bad. Well, I got a vanilla technical in the shop, but most of the parts we need. Just gotta doll it up with some more of the bandits' trimmings. Spikes, blood, skulls, that kind of thing. You could probably scavenge that stuff from the bandit patrols around here. You'll have to blow I gotta up remember not to judge a book by its cover. And don't pay them any mind if they start calling you names. Just we, we makes don't, killing them that much more fun. We don't do judging <laughs> of any of the sorts. I rarely judge. A rocket car would be ah, so better. So my sister getting along pretty well, huh? <laughs> That's cool, that's cool. Of course, she make fun of the way she looks, so I have to tie you to a venom machine. We here at Shushu Enterprises, we don't judge you based on appearance. We judge you based on your character and who you are as a person. We at Shushu Enterprises approves of this message. Are we doing too close for missiles instead? Yeah, I just wanted to kick it off really quick. Just pull your fine self to my garage if you're in the car. Right. Oh. Ah, good. Here we energize. Fully energized attack. Jay, Jay beginning that dopamine adrenaline. That's one part now. Oh yeah, he knows what's up. Well, I guess there's nothing preventing us from getting the parts. Get up there. Just get a few more and we'll be good to go. I think it's this one. Oh, I 
Wait for this. Get some jiffy. Get let's get some jiffy pop and watch the mean girls together. Oh my god. <laughs> A fate worse than death, mean girls. Better than meme girls. Mean girls. What about what about space girls? Oh, we have to shoot down some buzzard pilots? Luckily, I got, us a, I got us a nice little toy that should help. I've been safe. Mm. I've been... Wait, where is it? Where the frick is that thing? Oh, there it is. I've been saving a toy for this. Say hi to my rocket launcher! Oh, rocket nice. launcher. Hello, rocket, rocket launcher. But... My back pocket in case we need it for stuff. heavy artillery. You don't have time to think about it. If you think, you're dead. <laughs> That's oh, why I don't speaking... think at all. Speaking of, I'm here. That shield is pretty nice. We got the wrong. No. Oh, I'm keep going. Well, we only got like 20 minutes left anyway, so it doesn't matter. This one will be fairly short. Imagine coming back to life only to die again. Hmm. Couldn't target you. This is what happens when you play Overwatch at Genji. Wow. Or any other DPS. Ever. There's a blue pistol up here uh. if you want. Hmm. No mercy. Bubbles, death, mercy. Ah, ah, <laughs> no mercy. Kaboom. I, I like mm. I like that Townsville. Has just has a random fucking dog. He died. Hmm. Okay. Has a random what? I a random fucking dog. <laughs> the dog's vibing. We all are. And, and yeah. it was never. And it was... sucky thing about a rocket launcher. It's so slow you can't really see. And the talking dog was never explained. Well, you wanna explain a talking dog? I don't know. He might have interesting. Like, he might lead an interesting life behind the scenes of the action and punchy punchy. Hmm. In fact, you know what the lore from outer space. You know what the lore probably is, honey. He's one of Professor X's Run, creations. That is an interesting theory, actually. <laughs> Like, the dog could have been his first attempt at using chemical X. Oh god. The only enemy over here is a Goliath.
Don't worry, you'll be fine. I owe you. Oh, you ran up close again. They're not rendering for me. Uh, there were no oh. guns or mods anyway. There were two sirens and let's see. Mm. Two sirens, one psycho, and one necromancer. Has anyone ever tried to romance the necromancer? The necromancer. He likes necks. Actually, that wreck one isn't <laughs> that. That wreck one isn't that bad. Hmm. Hmm. What, what is that one yokai called? The one with the really long neck? You don't uh, remember. I don't remember either. <clears throat> is she the neck romancer? <clears throat> No, the necromancer is this girl named Gage who controls a who controls a robot. But they're talking about necromancer. Uh, it neck. Don't bug out now. Okay, dude, I won't bug out. Whatever. They need for speed. Yeah, we're gonna die. <laughs> it just ragged all in phantom. You've been easy. Oh, oh boy, you've been anyway. easy. I don't guys. understand. Well, I mean, I do understand. It was jingoistic macho BS, and that's why boomers loved it so much, but. <laughs> Oh, um, I remember Top Gun Maverick. It was okay. Not, not, I've not seen the new one. I'm talking about the new one. I'm well, not interested new... in the new one. Well, the new one was just as jingoistic, don't you worry. But it's different because this young kid's a rebel! He's gonna rebel against <laughs> the U.S. Army to take down their, to take down their enemy! Yeah, whatever. Fuck yeah. yeah! Hell yeah. You know, here, here, here in Cali, we do have, like, the, we do have, like, the restaurant from that scene in the original. It, it's the exact same scene that it was shot at. So I guess that's oh. something. Oh my god. Yeah, it's something. Whether whether or not it's a piece of history is entirely up to you. Maybe. Hmm. Well, it's a historical significance for you. It's no, like I've never seen Top Gun. Oh wait, I I I kind of also had like a trivia of a famous location for this uh, movie slash. Uh, music videos. So, you see, remember the song Despacito? 
Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. so not ever arrange it just fucking first of all. It was shot right at a right. It's basically like this tiny little town in the capital of Puerto Rico. Stay calm. Huh. It's called La Perla. And not only did they film this Despacito, but they filmed several other movies there. The heck is with too. all the explosions? Oh, that's my shield! The Firehawk shield! Whenever it glitches, it spawns Fire Novas! Yeah, it, well... Like, the thing is, Despacito was shot Wait, the at Fire that Novas little town. Wait, the Fire Novas hurt you? What? I think they were hurting me. Something was hitting me. That's weird. They shouldn't have hurt you. I feel sorry for you, Jay. What? Why? Por espacito. Well, I don't. I don't even mind. Oh, I, I don't even mind. I just thought it was cool. Oh, so let's see. I know there was a, there was one thing <gasps> thing that you were going on about for a while, Sandy. Um, oh, I know. Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> helicopter, helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Because of the whole crony meme, I remember now. Crony copter, crony copter. Grenade, calm copter. down. I love my power. Those suckers, yeah. Come on, bat. We're probably not gonna have time after after this with what I want to show. So we'll turn in this quest and then I'll show you guys off stream what I wanted to show you really quick. And we're stuck. Well, I got us stuck. <laughs> That's me. Oh, well. oh. I should be able to punch it out. But we gotta get rid of this guy first. And if you can't take me, my kitchen! <laughs> oh dear. Wow, now hey. it's stuck. Whatever, we'll just summon another ride. <laughs> anyway, so, what did we learn today? Um, <laughs> hey, those guys are tougher than they seem. I learned that apparently starting colds for you incinerate people is bad and somehow good at the same time. Uh, I just, I just didn't learn. I, I learned that I respect your opinion. I learned that How crap, 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 and stuff that I don't remember. Alright, let me just turn in this quest and then we'll call it. Oh wait, I know what I I just, I don't know what I learned, but it's more of a lesson. Anytime. Kids, don't don't hate your Bakugan like they're baseballs. Alright everybody, Why? I will see you, you on that? Thursday. Later. 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 Take it easy. Take care. See you guys then. Bye. Oh, but don't leave yet because there's something I want.